Hey Dazzlers, here's what we'll be using today. We're going to make cakesicles to match the theme of these strawberries that we've already done. If you would like to follow along, come on, join us. Here's our cake. We're using a yellow cake today and we're doing the warm method. So with this, you don't need any icing or chocolate to bind when your cake is already warm. So you're just going to mush it up until it gets to a texture that is more like a Play-Doh, um, a dough texture. So just knead it until you get the texture that you're looking for. And as you see, it's getting more dough-like. Look at that. It's getting perfect. get started on making our cakesicles. Again, we're doing the dip method, so we're going to take our cake mixture and we're going to put that into our mold. We put about 75% fill so that you can we can put the stick in and bind it there with our chocolate. Follow that out a little bit towards that stick part. So we place the stick into the mold. Put a little overboard on that. And we're going to put a little chocolate over top of that. And it's fine because we're going to dip it in chocolate anyway. So that extra chocolate is just going to, to seal that all together. And take another nice chunk of cake mix and place that into the mold. Again, about 75% full. And leave just a space at the bottom where we can place that that stick. Again, we're going to put more cake on top of there to seal that in there. And make that as smooth as possible. And go ahead and speed through these last two. You got the gist with the first. Now that we're almost done, we're going to go ahead and get ready to put this in the freezer. Now we're going to get started on our small decoration. Here's our butterfly mold that we'll be using. You can use these molds with chocolate or fondant. Today we're just using the chocolate. I'm not going to go into a lot of details like I do when I use it with the fondant. We're going to tap that to release the air bubbles. Now that our molds have set, the hexables are ready for dipping. We're going to take each one out. And look how nice and molded that is. These are not completely frozen. They are just 
solid enough to release, but not too cold where they will impact how they are once we break them. that cake circle in, tilt it, and then turn it so that we don't have a whole lot of extra chocolate on that stick. That is very important to me. I do not like a lot of chocolate down the sticks when they're dipped. Okay, we're going to do our drizzle over our container of chocolate in a glass uh, measuring cup to make sure we don't waste. Then we're going to sprinkle them with some large size sanding sugar in yellow. We're going to do two like this. Make sure when you do drizzles like this that you actually have a nice loose uh, chocolate in your piping bag. You don't want it to get stuck on the way out. Dazzlers, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. There were actually two separate boxes, but all within the same theme. Hope to see you soon. Keep dazzling. <laughs>